Okay, so I haven't watched this yet, but a lot of the folks on Twitter that I follow are talking about this. So this is from Jason Campbell. He uh, he really posts all the greatest hits from conservatives. Um, so Charlie Kirk warns, the transgender movement is an introductory phase to get you to strip yourself of your humanity to mesh with machines, adding, if you stop being a man, then maybe you could stop being a human being. Is it just me or does it feel like conservatives are always threatening us with a good time? This sounds amazing. Like we have to listen to what he has to say to get the full context, but I would absolutely love nothing more than to be part robot. That would be awesome. If we could upgrade ourselves in some way, I think that'd be great because I feel like as human beings, we are flawed. We could use an upgrade. I mean, we have one hole to breathe and eat with, which means we could potentially die if we get choked. Even dolphins have a separate eating hole and a separate breathing hole. That should be part of our upgrade. Um, on top of that, I feel like we should uh, do a patch to make our bladders last longer. If he's serious about this, then I don't know why somebody wouldn't want this future. Who wouldn't want to live in a sci-fi future where we're kind of part robots? I think that would be fucking amazing. So um, let's see what he has to say. Go a level deeper, but you guys are smart, you'll get it. The transgender movement actually matters even more than biomedical fascism, and they actually are together. Because the transgender movement is an introductory phase to get you to strip yourself of your humanity to mesh with machines. That sounds incredible. And I love the implication that if you're trans, you're somehow less human. What? He is so fucking stupid. Called transhumanism. They want you to say, okay, well, I can choose any gender. Why can't I just have like an exoskeleton of some sort of machine around me? Why not? Wouldn't that be dope? I would love that. Fuck yeah. If I could have a mech suit or something or a fucking, uh, I don't know, robot arm. Why not? Why is that so bad? It's not true, but he's trying to fear monger here. But his fear mongering just sounds like a really cool sci-fi future. He's not even good at fear mongering. This is what meta is about, the metaverse, kids staring at screens. The metaverse is a fucking marketing ploy by Facebook to sell VR headsets. But nobody's going to buy that. No, I mean, people are going to buy the headsets, but nobody's going to buy into this hype of the metaverse. What a simpleton. Along. This is documented, this is proven, this is where Silicon Valley is going. This is why they're so insistent on this transgender thing, because if you stop being a man, then maybe you can stop being a human being. Maybe you can kind of just plug into some sort of machine. This is where their control, their profit motive is coming down the stream. There's a ton of literature about this. I'm, by, I'm far from the first person to comment on it, but I'm just kind of connecting the dots. Name the literature. I would love to explore this idea that being transgender is a gateway into being cyborgs. Does anyone remember um, during the gay marriage debate that America was having, People would jump to the most dumbest, most hyperbolic conclusion about where society would go if we dared to accept same-sex marriages. I remember people saying, well, you know, if we let people marry someone of the same sex, then what's to stop them from marrying dogs or toasters? What if I want to marry this phone? Um, we allowed people to marry people of the same sex and... Society hasn't fallen apart. I mean, to be clear, it is falling apart, but not because of same-sex marriage, to be clear. It's because of capitalism, late-stage capitalism. But the, the fear-mongering, it's so hyperbolic that I feel like they undermine their own arguments and they don't even realize it. Who believes this? Who believes that being transgender is going to lead to people being cyborgs? Nobody believes this. Not even a five-year-old would hear this and think that it's compelling. Like, what is the agenda here? Well, the agenda is kind of like Ready Player One meets Inception where you kind of just hook up to a machine all day long and you're Shut controlled the fuck by up. companies that control your thoughts and your feelings and the real world actually ends up being the not real world where everyone just kind of wears goggles all day long that's the deeper significance of the transgender movement that no one wants to talk about he thinks he's connecting the dots but he hasn't any grand <laughs> exactly um who finds this persuasive the only people who would find this persuasive are people with um no brain cells that are working and also have never met a transgender person in their entire life. I'm not sure how many people know this, but um, the reason why it looks like Charlie Kirk's face is shrinking is because there's a really tiny black hole. It's microscopic. You can't see it. But there's a black hole that's in the back of his throat and it's sucking in his face. So that's why it looks like his face is shrinking. And every time you watch one of these videos, his face shrinks even more. That's a fact, actually. That's not feelings.